keep telling myself, enough's enough. You got enough puzzles. But then something always seems to come along that makes me change my mind. And that's exactly what happened here. So I was online. Uh, <clears throat> I noticed on one of my sites that I'm on, one of my Facebook pages I was on, oh, about a week and a half ago, and there was a listing for a puzzle that I thought I'd really like to have. Looked at it a couple of times, but never bought it. And the price was very good. So guess what? I did it again. I bought more puzzles. So let's take a look and see what we got. <laughs> so we ended up driving today to pick up puzzles. And the main reason was this baby here. This is one I've been looking at for quite a while came available so I couldn't resist along with it I ended up buying more but Ejica 24,000 pieces I believe this one is called life I think it is I'll have to check and see uh, I not, can't see the name from here anyway this one came available and I couldn't pass it up and got more along with it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna haul them all into my puzzle room and then we'll take a closer look okay got all the puzzles down here into my puzzle room my puzzle table back there just got them on my pool table here so we'll go over them here now and take a little bit of a closer look this was the main puzzle I was after the 24,000 piece Educa puzzle called life it is one that I've had my eye on and wanted for quite some time, but sort of never really pulled the trigger on it. But when this one came available, this one is not, I shouldn't say it's not new. It's been purchased, but it's never been opened. Um, and as it, somebody mentioned before on a post a little while ago that the puzzle company seemed to be going away from the shrink wrap. This one is not shrink wrapped. But if you look very carefully, I don't know if we can see here, but there are seals. That one doesn't show very well, but there is a seal right here around plastic seal. There's one here as well, one on all four sides. So the puzzle is new. Um, slight bit of damage on one corner, but I didn't buy it for the box. I bought it for the puzzle. So I'm very happy about this. So this puzzle, if I'm not mistaken, is four bags of 6,000 pieces each. And that shouldn't be a problem since I just finished a 6,000 on this table. So I know 6,000 will fit. So this will go into the pile along with my 42,000 Edgeka. And someday we'll get at it. But very happy about getting this one. Very happy. And then after kind of made a deal on that one, I was introduced to, or shown, Cobble Hill Puzzles. This one is called Pink, Red, Orange, Yellow, Green, Blue, oh, upside down, and Purple. What makes these somewhat unique is that these actually all connect together. If you look here, you will see the pink, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple. They do actually can all connect together. So <clears throat> this person had the full set. I like Cobble Hill Puzzles as it's a nice Canadian company. So I thought, oh, what the heck? If I'm gonna buy one or two, I might as well buy them all. So I did. <clears throat> Along with that, she had one called Black and White. This one is of the same line, but it does not connect together with the others. So seeing that I was buying the others, I thought, what the heck? We'll take this one too. One Springbok Christmas puzzle. I'm not quite sure how we ended up talking about this one, but uh, I think threw it in along with the others. It seemed like the price was good, so I had no issue. 
I don't really have any Christmas puzzles, so I was okay with that. I thought our deal was done and then showed up with one more puzzle, a 3000 Ravensburger. I do like larger puzzles, so this one really caught my eye right off. Um, it has been opened, and as she, the person told me, she opened it, opened the bag, and then realized that it would not fit on the table she had. She had no room to do it, so she put it back in the box, so it's never been done. So I'm okay with that, so purchase that one as well. So that's what I got on this trip. Um, this lady was very kind as to, as she lives three hours away from me, she was very kind to agree to drive halfway and meet me in the middle, which she did. So we took a drive today and picked them up. So an hour and a half each way, had a nice lunch, stopped at a great Thai restaurant along the way, which were in Huntsville where we went. We stopped at a Thai restaurant. We didn't know it was there. The food was very good. Had a nice little chat in Thai with the owner. So it was a wonderful day all along. So along with that, I also picked up an 18,000 piece magical bookcase. This one is for a friend in Toronto. Once she realized I had made a deal for all the other puzzles, she made a deal for this one. I picked it up along with the others and we'll deliver that one down to her in Toronto in the coming weeks. So here we are, a little mini puzzle haul. If you like this video, give us a like. If you uh, haven't subscribed to the channel, then please subscribe. So with that, we'll leave it there and we'll catch you in the next video.